think we got one of the first cast. See what he's got. White bass. He's fishing with minnows and bobbers, so man, that wind. I can't even get my jig up. Where I want to put it. Uh, I guess he doesn't want to lift it up over the rail. It's a nice one. One nice fish in the river. It's going to be pretty impossible to fish with a jig in here though. We're just getting blown. Blasted by the wind, just blows it, blows it right down. Fish are out in that flat, uh, flat section like I was talking about before.
Got a heron out here fishing. This guy taking all the fish. Uh, it's not going to be very good fishing over here. Could try the other side, but uh, traditionally, traditionally, it's not. Uh, it's much better on this side. All right, we're on the other side of the dam now. But this uh, this side over here is a little more. A little trickier to fish because you want to be up in that uh, in that flat underneath the water crashing down. So you got to go up this uh, this rail here and try and flip it over the top, kind of like the other side, but uh, it's on an angle. So we'll see uh, we'll see what we can do up there. You could cast from down here, but then cast against the grain here then you, you get it's real easy to get snagged you're casting up up into the water it's easier to get snagged you really gotta zip it through there to give a chance give the fish a chance to bite it before you before you get snagged in the weeds and then but this bottom section here there had there has been uh, there's fish in here sometimes. They're a lot more likely to be up higher though. But we can give a couple shots. And there's a lot of snags in here too because it's not very deep. Looks like they got a team over there. One guy hooks it and then the other guy goes down to the shoreline to grab it. So it doesn't uh, fall off. You're trying to lift it up that rail. They got a, the guy had a lot of gear, so if I had to guess, I'd say he's pretty much been fishing there all day, every day. That'd be my guess. We're gonna go up here, see if we can get an angle. To fish this uh, water just below the dam here. It's a shame this bush has to be here because that's kind of where we want to be. But I'm going to try throwing it, uh, throwing it up on a little angle here. See if something will hit it before it gets pulled pulled down real fast. Pretty pretty tough to fish this side though. You only get a couple seconds. I think we just had something hit it over there. But you gotta run it faster than you really want to. So they get really gotta chase it. Because once you get to this lower part. You're just asking to get, to get snagged down there. Those guys look like they're camped out over there, but uh, I don't know, maybe we'll get lucky and they'll pack up. Kind of surprised to see uh, people out here on a day like today when it's uh, a little cold and windy. Let's see if we get something out of this side. I mean, there is fish on this side. 
it's just really difficult to uh, get your get your jig through the area because you have, you don't have a good angle to keep it up there. Only get a few. Nah, the wind just took that one. That wind just pulled that one right downstream. No shot. Try to get it up in that white water so it can feed down. I get nothing over here though. There was something in there. You think something would grab it, but for some reason they like that <clears throat> they like that other side better than this side. Because this side's a little different. It comes straight down and then it turns. The uh, the edge turns and then it straightens out. Plus the, plus the fish think they're getting they're getting free food on the other side, free minnows, until they get that hook in their mouth. I don't see our heron getting anything over here. I used to use bobber and minnow in the river a lot. It's the same kind of technique. You just let it drift through there. The bobber holds it up. And of course, they like to, to, to uh, eat that that live minnow more than a than a jig. But I learned through the years that you don't need them if you know what you're doing and you know the spots. You can do just as well with the, some kind of jig. But not on this side it looks today. Yeah, we probably would have done pretty well over there today. This side, you're just forced to go in the wrong direction. That's the problem. You're reeling, you're reeling away from the... You know, in the opposite direction, or you're reeling in the same direction as the water flow. So it's it's not like a chase because the fish are pointing the other direction. So they would have to see it and then turn around and chase it. Or you'd have to run it in front of their face. It's kind of hard to do with this angle. It looks like there's shad spilling over the spilling over the dam over there in the middle. If you guys can see that.
you see that constant uh, trail of little bumps going over the the spillway there that's shad just pouring over the dam there I don't know if they want to if they're just or if they're getting pulled down or if they actually want to go over but they're just continuously so it's just filling this whole area with shad I'm surprised I haven't snagged one but they might not stay up here they might just go down further down river and that might just be what that uh, what those herons and egrets what they what they eat Try a different angle, maybe. Pretty tough with the wind, though. really have to run it right in front of one of these things faces <sighs> and for the cold water you don't want you don't want to run it too that fast because they're not going to be moving as fast if it was uh, like it was summer. Look at this heron. That was pretty cool.